Hi, this is Ian McFarlane. This brief tutorial will walk you through inserting symbols and using the equation editor in Microsoft Word uh, to help you make your papers fit with APA style. This, the version of Word used in this tutorial is 2010, though the process is highly similar across all recent versions of Word. There are many times where you may need to insert a symbol or an equation into your manuscript or your APA style paper. Uh, to do this in Word is fairly straightforward. So let's say I wanted to write out my statistical hypotheses for an independent sample t-test. Okay. So first I need to write out my null and my alternative. Uh, so the null hypothesis is typically symbolized um, by h sub 0 or h naught. Um, in order to do this, there's a couple different options. Okay. The first way to do this is simply to type in h and go up here to subscript and type your zero then turn subscript off put your colon and you're ready to type your uh, null hypothesis right there uh, the other way to go about doing it uh, would be to use the equation editor but um, we'll come back to the equation editor in just a minute uh, so the null hypothesis for a independent samples t-test is mu1 equals mu2 Okay, remember mu is the population uh, mean. So to insert a mu, which is a Greek letter, uh, I need to go up to the insert bar on the ribbon, and I'm going to go over to symbol. Now if you've recently used um, one of the symbols that you need again, they pop up right here, but let's just assume that you haven't used a mu before. Okay, so you go down to more symbols, Okay, and then here's you're going to have a, a massive list of all the symbols that you can insert. Um, so the easiest way is to go up here to Greek and Coptic, okay, which will just uh, send you right to the Greek letters. And then you find a lowercase mu, which is right here. And then all you have to do is hit insert. Okay, and then you can go ahead and close that. Okay, so I can say there's my mu, and I can go back and say mu of group one okay, is equal to, and now if I go back here, mu will be the first one of my recently used symbols, mu of group two. Okay, so for the alternative hypothesis, I'm going to just type h again, and I'll put a one down here. Now note, you can put h of a, um, subscript a, for the alternative hypothesis as well. I'm just going to use 1, because that's what I usually use. Turn subscript off. And the alternative hypothesis for a non-directional statistical test would be mu1 is not equal to mu2. Okay, so again, I go back. Um, I'm going to put mu1 and now I need the does not equal symbol okay so I'm gonna go back to symbol I'm gonna go to more symbols and I'm gonna go to the mathematical operators okay and then here I can see here's my does not equal or not equal to symbol okay the equal sign with a slash through it I'll hit insert and there's my not equal and then I'm going to insert my mu again and not equal mu2 okay so there I have my hypotheses my null hypothesis that mu1 and mu2 are equal my alternative hypothesis that mu1 does not equal mu2 okay. now if I wanted to make this a directional hypothesis okay, I could do that if I wanted Let's say my null or my alternative hypothesis was that in, I'm just going to copy and paste to save a little time that mu one was greater than mu two. Okay, then my null hypothesis would needs to be mutually exclusive and exhaustive. So my null hypothesis would then be mu is less mu one is less than or equal to mu two. Okay, again I can go back to symbols. I can go back to mathematical operators. Okay, 
and then right here I can see less than or equal to. I'll go ahead and insert that. Okay, now I have my directional hypotheses uh, just like I ha would need to have them for my my paper. Okay, now you may notice it's a little bit clumsy to switch back and forth between inserting symbols and going back to subscript and things like that. You can this is where using the equation editor is sometimes more helpful. Okay, so let's walk through how to do that. Okay, first let me set these and move over. Okay, so to use the equation editor, uh, you go up here again in, on the insert ribbon and then just hit equation. Okay, now when you're in equation, it's going to um, type everything and space it correctly um, and use the correct uh, subscripts and superscripts um, just like you need it to. Uh, for example, uh, if I'm going to do mu1 equals mu2 again, uh, I can go to this script button and I can choose a subscript. Okay, notice I've got now two boxes here. This is for the main, this is where mu will go. And down here is the subscript. So this is going to be group one. And then mu, if I go up here and look at these symbols, okay, uh, uh, it'll start you out probably in basic math, and mu happens to be in the basic math suite. Um, though if you, along with a number of others that you may use, alpha, beta, um, gamma, delta, theta, pi, rho, sigma, tau, phi, and omega. Okay, but if you ever uh, are needing to go back or use a different Greek letter, um, you, there's a section that's just Greek letters. But since I'm going to be using operators as well, I'm going to leave it in basic math um, because I want to just hit mu and I move myself over equals and then another subscript for and I'll put mu again. Okay, so again it, it works pretty slick. It actually looks a little bit cleaner in terms of the, the subscript is is formatted a little bit better. Let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit. Um, it's just a little cleaner. It puts the muse automatically in italic, um, which you'd want to do for the rest of these. Um, another tip you can use is you can use Format Painter. So I want to make these other mu's all italic. I'll double click Format Painter and then just highlight the mu's and it will copy the format of the thing that I had highlighted originally. Okay, and then whenever I want to be done with that I just hit Escape or I can click Format Point Painter again. Okay, so if I'm going to put my alternative hypothesis in here, um, again put my equation and mu. Now notice I forgot to make that have a subscript, so I'm going to go back to this script button after I highlight and just tell it I want a subscript next to it. mu1 and then I need to actually put does not equal and that's right up here. Does not equal and then I need another script mu2. Okay, so it gives me again very comparable results. Again, I think using the equation editor is a little cleaner, um, but you can use it with the, do the subscripts by your hand if you'd rather. Um, again, it would be the same way if I wanted to do these as, as inequalities. Um, if I go back to the equation editor, the less than or equal to symbol is right there, and I could change this to uh, the greater than symbol just like that. Okay. Now there's some other symbols that you may have to use from time to time. Um, for example, if you're running a chi-square test, um, you want to actually use the Greek letter chi. Um, so you can go back to insert. Um, you can do equation again. Um, it will automatically sort of center your equation. Um, you can change that later. But for chi-square, I'm going to use a superscript. 
Okay, and I'm chi squared, my exponent is a two. And then I need the Greek letter chi. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to Greek letters. And then my chi is right here. And now I've got my uh, chi square. Okay, so if I was reporting a chi square, uh, say for example with three degrees of freedom and n, uh, notice I didn't have to type shift to italics there, it automatically put the n in italic. n was uh, say 27. And I could say that was all, that was the chi square observed statistic was, uh, let's make a number up, uh, 12.49. Okay, and then I could put p equals, and then I would look up whatever that value was. I'm just going to say arbitrarily that it's going to be 0 0.02. Um, and all of a sudden, I have my nice uh, APA style um, equation. Okay, that I could type. I could put this whole thing in brackets. Oops. Notice there I went outside the equation. If you're you editing the equation, this little box will be around it. And if you move over again, um, notice now you're outside the equation editor. So I want to put the bracket in so that it's formatted with the rest of the equation. And I'll put it back to left align. Okay, so notice I could put, you know, like the results of the Chi square test showed a significant difference in variables A and B. Excuse me. Chi square would be a significant relationship between variables A and B. Okay, and then I've got my results all in APA style, nice and neat. So, now you know how to use the equation editor and how to insert symbols correctly into Microsoft Word so that you can use APA style correctly in your papers. Okay, until next time, good luck with your writing.